So first of all, I want to start with the digital cockpit. This is the new digital cockpit from Toyota Corolla facelift 2023. And this digital cockpit will come on all the new cars these days that will come out from Toyota in 2023. And first of all, I want to tell you that it's much better than what Toyota had before. It's much more customizable. It's a big screen. It's a super, super big screen. And also you have a lovely visibility from the driver point of view. So this is a good thing. Uh, now, if you see in the middle, you have the possibility to customize now what you like to see uh, it's somehow keep the classic menus somehow but the software and the graphics are different so first of all i want to tell you that in the middle there you have the possibility to choose what you like to see the adaptive cruise control mode you can see the map if you press ok here the map will be uh, a little bit more extended uh, in the middle there so you can see right now it's extended so you can see even the map navigation uh, in a small way right there so it's super super I'm super excited about this feature uh, then you can go to the settings if you go to the settings you can change as before all the settings of the car like uh, adjust the meter brightness uh, you have lane assist blind spot technology emergency brake parking sensors you have also a uh, reverse uh, alert is like a emergency brake when you go in reverse so you have some sensors there uh, then you have also um, kind of emergency brake in the back and all kind of features this is also reading the traffic speed limits because the car come with a camera that can read the traffic speed limit uh, settings vehicle settings here you can go uh, brake suggestion you have all that speed limiter uh, this is the trunk there and also oil maintenance and all that settings uh, and you have also the meter settings you can set the language units meter uh, meter style the dials ev mode uh, you can turn it off and on the fuel economy the hybrid system uh, you have the drive info items trip a trip b pop-up uh, display here on the pop-up display you can also choose what you like to see on the pop-up display so it's really really interesting and i'm super excited those they kind of keep those settings there but they they did it in a different way then you can change uh, you can save up to three uh, customizable screens. So you can see right here, one, two, three. So first of all, uh, one, I also customize it. And you can change all those uh, screens, depend how you want it. And then you can just choose from here, one, two, three. I already did the one. And I will show you how easy it is to, to do it. Uh, all you have to do from the steering wheel, you have physical buttons. And you can you can go from the steering wheel, left and right. Let me show you. Let me let me press OK here. Yes, once it's set, then let's go down. Let me sh let me go back, and then right now, once you set the screen, let me show you. You can go left and right here on the left side. You can also customize what you like to see, like consumption, the Eco Score, uh, the EV driving ratio, and um, yeah, it, it's super cool that you can do that. And then you can go on the right side, you can see the media, you can see the driving for the trip A, uh, the graphic and this uh, nice energy flow display and also the tire pressure and the difference uh, on the wheels. If you have this on your car, it's for example, it's a four wheel drive. You can see that information as well there. So this is super nice. I mean, yeah, it's great that Nowadays, you can also customize all those things depend how you want it. And also in the middle, you can customize uh, depend how you like to see the middle part there. And everything is super, super easy uh, to change and to customize it. And I, I love this new cockpit. And all you have to do is just change those things from here. Now, guys, let's go to the multimedia system here in the middle. It's a much bigger screen. You have a good, good visibility from the driver point of view. And here, first of all, I want to tell you that it's kind of the same software as you find it on the uh, latest models, but it's crazy responsive. I mean, in terms of responsiveness, it's incredible, incredible responsive. And you can see you can go in different, uh, different uh, cities. For example, if you choose a city, you just press it. Look how, how responsive it is. Toyota really improved the processor 
the hardware behind those multimedia system and oh and i like that i really so like it so great job from this point of view navigation it's much better it's much more responsive it's very very good i have to say one of the most responsive navigation these days uh on the market and you can see how easy it is to to reach out and to change different settings there uh then you have the media here all the sources and media radio and all that stuff then you have the uh, phone here you can connect your phone i will have a separate video on how to connect your apple carplay with this new multimedia system so stay close guys uh then you have the the, the car here trip information the consumption and all the information about the car uh then if you go back you go to the energy flow here it shows you that energy flow that you probably see it in my previous videos with um toyota cars then you have the application here like web browser the car is connected to the internet so you can browse in the internet you have notification here and then you have the settings on the car settings you have personal information bluetooth and device you can connect it here uh, you have the general settings you can change from here uh, the animation the date and time keyboard language and units then you have um, Wi-Fi, the display here, you can play a little bit with display with colors and the brightness. Uh, then let me go forward, you have the sound and media, from the sound and media you can choose uh, the settings of the sound, of the media, FM, radio and all that settings. Uh, then you have voice and search, vehicle customization, the lights, the doors. Here you can choose how you like to have a climatic system and utility, uh, adaptive cruise control, vehicle suggestion and all that uh, settings you have it here. So it's really, really interesting on how many customization you have here, guys. And yeah, in, in general, it's kind of the same uh, multimedia, but it's a little bit different and it's much more responsive. And also you have a bigger screen. So guys, um, I guess that was the video. If you still have question, ask me down below, whatever you want to ask. Um, stay close because we'll come really interesting videos in the future. So yeah, click the subscribe button. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and see you soon in the next one. Bye guys.